Hello friends, welcome to Creator King. I can't promise that this will be the last invention related to the Korean series that premiered a couple of months ago, but you liked it so much that I said to myself, why not make the most of it? Once you have removed the support from the thin syringe, cut off the tip with a pair of pliers. Cut the tabs at the bottom of the piece until it looks like this and repeat the previous steps with the second syringe. Once they are both ready, put them aside for a moment and use your mental powers to move a water bottle toward you like Matilda did. Who here knows that movie? Now, with the bottle in hand, take off the cap and proceed to remove a few white caps that for some strange reason are inside. Kevin, are you sure you want to put that in the video? Yeah, okay, whatever you say. Now that we have the caps, let's apply some instant glue on each end of the syringe and attach them facing outwards. In the meantime, do you have any pets? I just adopted a little puppy, and let's just say, she won't let me do anything. She bites me all the time. She eats a lot and destroys everything I buy her instantly. If this is what having a child is like, I don't want one. With a soldering iron, melt a hole in the center of each cap where we'll insert a thin wooden stick like the ones you see on the screen. I used to use these sticks to make scale models, and now I use them to create inventions. I am proud of myself. I have grown a lot. Take one and pass it through both holes we just created. To make sure that they stay where they should, apply plenty of instant glue between the lid and the wooden stick. Take out your school ruler or any measuring tool of your choice and mark about one centimeter on each end of the wooden stick. From your beautiful little drill, take off the piece that it normally has at the tip. We're going to add another piece that we'll find among our junk. Once you've found it, insert it into the hole and place the original piece back on top of it. To finish assembling the rotating circular saw, look for a couple of more pieces and don't forget to adjust the grip, preventing the saw from flying out like a ninja shuriken. Finally armed with our mini electric cutting tool, chop the stick along the mark that we made a minute ago. As we cut the other end, one quick and unrelated question, what time is it where you guys are? Here, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. The sun hasn't even risen properly and I'm already working. I would like to keep on sleeping. Putting my complaints aside, repeat the steps of gluing the remaining caps on both ends and piercing them with the soldering iron. The main difference of this second piece is that on one side it will have a special toy motor and on the other side we will insert a stick. But first apply glue before inserting it, making sure that it does not touch the motor pivot. We will also need to measure one centimeter from this stick, so you know what to do. The two rotating rollers of our mini Squid Game console are now ready, so let's move on to the set design. This time I already digitally assembled the geometric face guards and the cookies to save me both time and glue. Once you have all the other parts of the scenery cut out, join them together with transparent tape in any order you want. Just remember that the image of the ugly doll has to go all the way to the end. By the way, I heard that there's another Korean series that aims to topple Squid Games from its throne of worldwide popularity. Do you think that's possible? Glue one end of the background to the piece with the motor and roll it up. Julio, speed this part up so the kids don't get bored. Put a clothespin on the Korean doll, then glue the end of the roll to the other syringe. Here we have our daily popsicle sticks. With a ruler, measure four centimeters and mark where to cut with a pencil. Replicate it on the other end and cut it. Then repeat it once again. Bring back the circular saw and turn it into a mini drill by removing everything except the bottom piece. Look in your toolkit for the small, thin drill bit to replace the saw with. Gather all the popsicle stick pieces into a single pile to make it easier to drill through them in the same place. Be careful with your fingers, please. We don't want you to have to clean up your own internal juices. Let's again modify our multi-tool to turn it into a rotating sander. I think this is one of the best purchases I've ever made. It's like five tools in one. Sand the holes in the pieces of wood to enlarge them a little and leave them smooth. 
With our team of tiny popsicle sticks ready, we can begin with the cardboard assembly of our invention. Measure the size of the paper belt on the cardboard and cut it out with a box cutter. Apply a little glue to the base of the first piece of wood and insert the pivot of one of the rollers. Turn the structure around to see the second wooden pivot. Here, we'll also add another wooden piece. Apply glue on the motor and attach a small wooden board to it. Then, cut a bunch of much smaller pieces with pliers. These will help us to give more stability to the structure by gluing them as shown on the screen. Find a few rubber bands. Take one for the moment and I will show you how not to do it. It needs to be much tighter, just like you see it now. To do this, cut the band with scissors and tie the two ends together to achieve the desired tension before installing it. Next, take a lighter away from any tobacco users you know and dismantle it to get the part with the gear. Don't worry about making the lighter unusable. Believe me, you're doing those people's lungs a favor. Believe me, you're doing those people's lungs a favor. At least until they go and buy another one. With pliers, cut off the curved part and let's put the gear back in. Repeat these steps once more. Apply super glue to the edge of the base and attach the two to make them one and the same. Place it on a popsicle stick and with the help of the structure, measure the height you'll need before cutting it. Glue it right in between the two caps. Fill the hole of a 3D printed gear with glue and insert a motor pivot into it. Glue it all to another popsicle stick and attach it to the cardboard base right across from the previous piece. Less than two more minutes to have a new invention at your disposal. And I can go to sleep for about 15 hours. In this invention, there are also tons of popsicle sticks. Take another one of our elastic friends, which we'll also cut and stretch as much as possible to hold all the gears of our mini console. Let's bring to life the world's most famous old Korean man. Cover the back with glue to fuse it to the rubber band right where we tied it. This way he can move freely in a single dimension. Dismantle a toy car to get its remote control hydraulic steering system, which will operate our whole creation. You know how this works, so nothing more to say. My brain is still not working at this hour. I don't begin to appreciate life until after two in the afternoon. To finish off, we just need to make a box for our mini console. Apply hot glue on the four edges of the cardboard base to build the walls that will define our console and protect it from any external danger. Before placing the last two walls, glue the electronic control board underneath as well as the batteries. Proceed to close the box while I finish removing the sleep from my eyes. I wasn't made to get up early, or work. Forgive me for yawning halfway through the video. Cut a rectangle in the last wall before attaching it to the others, but this time with adhesive tape so we can open it easily whenever we want to play. As a distinctive decoration, we've created this mini scale console that we'll glue on top of everything. Let's try this beauty in a place that's up to our standards. What beautiful landscapes. With such a view and clean air, it's perfect to go out and play. Literally. Look, Mom, you can't say I don't leave my room anymore because of video games. They come outside with me. Dodge that guard, Kevin, and get those star cookies. No, 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 you're crashing into all the enemies. Noob. Well, you still won. It was probably on easy mode. Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.